I just got done reading some of the absolute worst advice I've ever heard on the internet about learning blockchain development. And this bothers me so much because so many people are trying to break in this space and they get this kind of advice all the time. I can't imagine how many people this has instantly turned away who try to go down this road and, you know, break in this industry to build the next generation of Web 3.0 applications. And if that's you, I'm sure you've been the recipient of this type of advice before. And I want to set the record straight in this video as somebody who has, you know, helped lots of people break into this industry, many of whom had zero coding experience before they got started, some in a matter of months. Because I'm sure you have lots of questions like, hey, am I cut out for this? How does this work? What should I learn? You know, what are the concrete steps to getting there? So I'm gonna talk about all this in this video today as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about some of the worst advice that I've seen on the internet about learning blockchain development. I see this type of thing all the time, and I want to set the record straight in this video because I'm sure you've heard this or maybe even thought this yourself. So I was browsing Reddit the other day and I saw this post where it said, you know, say, hey, I just started learning Solidity and I would like to know what are the best Solidity skills to learn or the best coding skills to generate demand in the DeFi sector. All right, so this is somebody who's already decided, hey, I want to learn Solidity. I want to become a blockchain developer. You know, what should I focus on? I'm already doing this. I'm already taking action. I've taken the self-initiative. <laughs> and then the number one upvoted comment uh, in response to this was this. Basically, in general, if you're not a seasoned developer already, I think Solidity may not be very rewarding to you. Basically, the subtext here is like, hmm, maybe you shouldn't start with Solidity. Maybe you should go do something else. And he says, the good news is that representation code, you know, general web development, most commonly React.js, is a reasonable place to start learning is not only in demand in the crypto space, but in general. And then he goes on to give him a little more advice on, you know, how to learn. Uh, but it says that from there, I'd focus on React front-end work and then that should get you on your way. All right, so I'm gonna be straight up. This is terrible advice. And uh, I know that's a pretty bold claim, but I wanna explain why I mean that. So first of all, uh, I actually used to think this way, and that's why I'm okay calling it terrible advice is because I used to think this way and I've changed my view over time. So why is that? Well, I think a lot of seasoned developers think this way because for, for lots of reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is that they're biased to how they learned software development in the first place. They think they need to learn some sort of basic skill and then use that basic skill as an analogy to learn a more complex skill. And that's absolutely false. It's really just biased to how you learn in the first place. So I had to change my view on this over time because of watching other people actually learn blockchain from scratch, many of whom had zero coding experience. And they just started with Solidity and learned everything else they go. It's the exact advice I teach on this channel. Now, I'm not gonna make this entire video just say learn blockchain first, learn everything else as you go. I've repeated that multiple times through lots of videos you've been watching this channel, but I do wanna start with that because it's a critical thing to understand. And again, I had to force myself to change my view on this over time after seeing all the stories of people that I helped break in this industry. Like check out that video I just did with Pavan who, you know, had no Solidity background and started on that and landed a six-figure blockchain job with no experience. Or, you know, Cosimo, who did, you know, got into the blockchain industry in two months with no experience. And I just personally hired somebody recently, Ethan, who had no coding experience, learned blockchain, and I hired him within a, within a year of him starting. So if any of those people had taken this advice, it would have completely delayed their progress, or maybe they would have just like stopped and said, hey, maybe I'm just not cut out for this. And that's why I really hate seeing advice like this, because it, you know, it's going to turn so many people away or just like discourage them from getting started or slow their progress. So let's flip it around and talk about the advice that I would actually give because I know lots of people are going to have this type of question too. Okay, so let's just start back over. You know, I'm learning Solidity and I would like to know where the best Solidity skills to learn or the best coding skills that generate demand in the DeFi sector. All right, so the first way that I would respond to this is say like, awesome, you've already figured out what you want to do. You, you figure out you want to get in the DeFi sector. You've already started learning Solidity. You've taken action. That's that's huge. Okay, that's a huge first step. Most people are kind of sitting on the sideline trying to figure out where I want to start. But this person sounds like they've already started from the post here. So that's awesome. Now, here's the number one piece of advice I would give. And this is for anybody, you know, know whether you're trying to break in the blockchain industry is first start with a goal okay that's this person already done they have 
figure out they want to get in the DeFi sector. And so that that focuses what skills they want to learn in order to provide value in that space. So pick your goal, whatever it is. Is it become a DeFi developer? Is it to build an NFT project? Is it you know, just become a general blockchain developer? If that's it, then just pick some sort of focus and pick a purpose of something you want to create. And so let's say that's your goal is to build an app in the DeFi space. Well, then what's sort of the exit criteria for doing that? Like that's that's the objective. That's what you want to aim at is, well, the exit criteria is you build a DeFi app. And if you can build a DeFi app, then you have the skills to satisfy the demand in the DeFi space. That's it. It's kind of laughably simple, but the way that you get there is you set that goal and then you break everything down into smaller manageable tasks to getting there. And then you relentlessly just check off each step along the way until you hit that goal. And you, you know, pause, you take breaks, you come back after you're frustrated until you just rinse and repeat you know, just consistently until you hit that goal. That's it. You just put the blinders on and you just do it. Now, you might say, well, that's all well and good, but I don't know the actionable steps to getting there. We're going to talk about those in this video. And, you know, what are the skills that you can put those actionable steps? That's like what this person is talking about in this question here. But that's literally the only advice that you need in order to accomplish this. And that's exactly what I'd tell somebody who's getting into the space as a beginner. Not just go learn a bunch of other pedantic stuff first before you try to get into blockchain. It's like, no, just here's your goal. Here's what you need to learn to get there. Focus on the most important things things first. All right, so let's talk about putting this down into actionable concrete steps. Let's look at the finish line before we determine the starting point, okay? So if you want to become a DeFi developer, your exit criteria is to build a DeFi app. So just pick a DeFi app that you want to build. Let's say that you want to build a yield farming app from scratch where you can do, you know, savings and lending on the blockchain where you have liquidity pools or some sort of application where, you know, it requires people to deposit tokens into there to earn yield, okay, maybe by distributing a brand new cryptocurrency or maybe paying out, uh, you know, yield farming rewards, okay? That's just what you need to learn how to build. So what are the skills involved in doing that? Well, at a very minimum, all you really need to understand is solidity to do that. That's what's that's kind of crazy. This person is saying, no, I need to go learn JavaScript first. Well, not really. I mean, you theoretically, you could write the tests, you know, for solidity. You don't even have to write the tests. As long as you can make the smart contracts work, all you know is solidity. Now, I think it's probably good to know some JavaScript on top of that. But you don't need to go off and like learn React JS in order to build a DeFi application. Like you could just learn Solidity, learn enough JavaScript to write the test for that application. So the minimum amount of skills that you need are just Solidity itself. And so that's exactly where I would start from. Now, so you need to start learning Solidity. Now, I don't think the best way to learn Solidity is to go off into Remix and just start learning the data structures and like how functions and variables work, you know, just like an abstract just by doing coding challenges. I think that's the slow way to learn. What's the actual fast way to learn? Uh, the fastest way to learn is to build a project. Okay, so start off with like setting up everything on your computer with the purpose of building a project. I'm a huge proponent of project-based learning, learning by doing because you always have context about, context about what you're learning. You're never saying like, hey, when am I ever going to use this? That's one of the most common questions I hear, you know, in a classroom from frustrated students. They, they're learning things in abstract and they don't see the point. Well, when you're building something, you always see the point. And that makes your knowledge stick because if you go learn it in an abstract before, you're probably going to forget a lot of it because you don't see the reason you're doing that. So you want to start off with something that's kind of beginner friendly to learn Solidity and then learn the other skills as you go. Now, there's going to be JavaScript involved in that probably, especially with the free tutorials that I do on my channel. You're probably going to learn to build some front ends. I'm not saying that's a detour from where you want to go. It's a valuable skill. Um, but that's the starting point. And then, you know, that's going to teach you the basics of Solidity. And then the next step is to take that to the next level uh, after you built that, you know, that's sort of like a beginner project, more of a toy application. And then you want to start building like a real world application. And so that's how we teach you how to do inside the blockchain bootcamp. But I'll just give you like a picture of what that would look like. Well, that would be building a DeFi application, like let's say a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange, for example, where you had like real production level smart contracts, okay? And it's going to show you how to build a professional level application and it's going to get you used to like the actual DeFi use cases. So, Things like how to trade tokens, how to stake, how to earn yield, all that type of stuff. And then to build the smart contracts to do that and then also build a real front end to do that. Now, you don't have to do the front end, but that's going to be a huge value add if you want to build a full stack DeFi application. OK, so it looks like basically, you know, learning by doing, starting off with a big, more beginner friendly tutorial, do a much more advanced tutorial. OK, uh, that's going to get you used to all these concepts. Those are all examples of guided, you know, tutorials, guided development. But what you want to do next is get into unguided development. And this is where you sort of take the training wheels off and you're sort of actually pursuing your goal of building a real DeFi application. So this is where your real learning takes place because 
you know, if you want to generate demand in the DeFi sector like this person is talking about, you have to actually be able to write code that solves those type of problems. Now, the good news is these are kind of solved problems. So what I would do is say like, okay, I want to build a DeFi app. So let's say it's a savings and lending app like Aave or Compound Finance. And a lot of these apps have been forked and put on other chains and tweaked and all this type of stuff. And the code is open source. So here's what I would do. I would go look at those smart contracts and just understand how they work. Like, like say, okay, what does this app do? It's a savings and lending app. I read through the documentation. I look at the smart contracts and say, okay, trace the logic. Once I've learned enough solidity, trace the logic to see how a deposit works in this application. Trace the logic to see how it issues tokens. And then really jump in and learn this. And it's going to be the documentation. It's going to be their comments in the code and open source. And just that understanding alone is going to totally open your eyes up to how this works. And then what I would do is I would actually code something. Uh, with, with that understanding, I would code something that basically does the same thing in a simplified version. Okay. But I would write the code that does it. Okay. It doesn't have to, ha it doesn't have to be as bomb proof as, you know, these other applications. Okay. They don't have to be. Uh, as sophisticated, you want to just take it to the next step where you're actually, you know, solving problems with the code itself, rather than just like, you know, somebody holding your hand through this process. And then as soon as I finish that, what I would do is I put it on a test network, I, you know, deploy it so somebody else could actually use it. And then if you want to start applying for, uh, you know, DeFi job developer jobs, that portfolio piece is going to get you hired really fast. Because on the grand scheme of things, like almost nobody on the face of the planet can do what I just told you to do. And if you learn the skills to do it, and you just go off and build it, that's going to get somebody's attention. Now, not everybody's going to take a chance on you, right? Instantly, right? I may be a little, you know, uh, enthusiastic saying that's going to get you hired instantly. But I honestly don't think it's going to take much with that type of portfolio, because the demand is so high. But definitely go check out that video I did with Pavan. You know, he talked about this where he just started applying. I mean, he didn't even have a portfolio that was even close to that sophisticated. And that's why I say this is going to be so much better. But what he did is he talked to lots of places. Of course, he was a beginner. He got a lot of rejection, but then he just had one, you know, company say, absolutely. Yes, we're going to, you know, we're going to hire you. We're going to give you a remote developer job in Silicon Valley and had a six figure job as a total beginner. So that's what's possible in this space. And that's the exact advice that I would give to somebody like this on Reddit who's saying like, hey, I just started learning Solidity. Like I've already gone down this road. What are the best skills to learn? Uh, or the best coding skills to generate demand on the DeFi sector? Well, exactly what I just told you. That's the better answer. Not what this person said, which is like, hey, maybe you don't maybe don't actually ruthlessly go after this goal that you've already started going after. Maybe just do something else. Like Solidity is not going to be that rewarding to you. You should just go learn JavaScript instead. That's absolutely horrible advice. I know I'm pretty, pretty hard on this person, but Reddit's kind of a salty place to begin with. And, uh, you know, I've thought this way before and I've completely changed my mind. I, I was forced to do that based on all the people that I personally helped, you know, learn blockchain from scratch with no coding experience. It works. Lots of other developers are just biased to how they started learning in the first place that they could too hard, blah, 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 blah. It's absolute BS. So I hope that you found this advice helpful, helped you break this down to some concrete, actionable steps you're trying to break into the blockchain space. Um, if you want to do exactly what I'm talking about, how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. We got a playlist there called Free Blockchain Development Courses. Uh, that's going to help you get started learning the basics of blockchain development. Okay, you can definitely go check out any of those videos that I was talking about and the student success stories about people who changed their careers, learn blockchain, broken this industry. Um, and if you like all those videos and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, just go for the throat and build that real world DeFi project. I can show you to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.